Finally guys, the belly punk cover. Came from France, S2 concept I believe they're called. Took like a month to arrive. I can't wait to install this because I hate this gap that it creates over there once you remove the stock exhaust. So I really wanted this. I really wanted to be able to cover that gap. It's like $270 I think I paid total with shipping. Um, I know that's a lot of money for a piece of plastic, but um, I think it's gonna make a huge difference at the looks of the bike. So let's go ahead and install that and see how it looks. All right, so the first thing to do, we'll remove this lower fairing. For us, it's only one, two, three, four screws. Uh, this is a four millimeter uh, Allen or hex. One. Two. Two more on the other side. four screws and two nuts to install it. Two will go at the other lower fairing and two will go up on here. The thing is that you will need these clips here, these ones. If you lost them or you don't have them, you're gonna need them. Put them back in place so the fairing can screw on here. Same thing for the other side, you're gonna need these two. Okay, let's... Uh, try it out the other thing is here this um, fairing is designed for the Akrapovitz exhaust so they made this cut here for the Akrapovitz I'm hoping that the SE project will also fit here it looks like it will let's see yes and the cut matches the SE project too so that's perfect, because if it wouldn't, I would have to probably grind it here, but I think I won't have to. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start installing this. All right, so this is actually three millimeter, because the stock fairing screws are four. So the ones that came with it are three millimeter. I'm gonna start with this. And I also pre-tested it, they actually fit. Uh, the threads fit this, so we're good with that. There you go. So let's start with the first screw over here. We're also gonna need a, a washer for this probably. Yeah, why not? Let's put washer too, since it came with it. Right here. And there. Untie it first. side and one screw and one washer let's go to the other side okay, so basically now for it to stay in place we have to install the stock fairing underneath so we can screw it here and from the other side so we can hold it in place over there So now the question is, I have to put one screw here and one screw from the other side, but this has a nut, so it's basically 
one screw here and the nut has to go to the inside so how are we going to tighten the nut on the other side I'm not sure I think I can actually reach it Let's see. We'll figure out. Let's see. So I found a better way. We can go around right now. I'm gonna put the screw in there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the stand and you're gonna see the hole down there. Down there. I don't know if you can see it but over there. So basically you're gonna put the screw from here. There. And then you're gonna take the nut and screw it from here. So basically from the opposite side. There you go. And then once you start it, you can go from the other side. There you go, if you can see it. You start the nut and go from the other side. Basically that's the installation, it's super easy. Um, now I'm not sure when I change the oil, when I remove this, I will also have to remove these here to remove this pan to change the oil, which is gonna make it a little more tricky, but it is what it is because I really like it. So let's just take a look at this and see how, uh, how it looks from far away. All right, this looks gorgeous. I'm so glad I got it. It's completely, it looks complete, you know, first of all, this doesn't even touch here. So even though this is made for the Akarpovitz, it fits perfect with the SE project. It looks great. I don't know if you can really tell from the footage, but yes, zero regrets. But sort of the other side. Here. It basically matches the stock line of the stock exhaust. And the color pretty much matches great. I don't, because I was thinking initially I might be doing something to it, but um, no, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Because I did get the painted version. You can get a, a raw version of it. I went with a matte black. And I think it's a perfect choice. All right, guys, there it is. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you think it's worth $270. For me, it was 100%. I would spend it again if I had to. Zero regrets, I'm loving it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, next video will be velocity, velocity stacks and also we're actually having spider rear sets on the way. Uh, so more installs coming up. Thanks for watching guys, peace.